towards nonlinear thinking with a new concept of time. Imagine you are watching this calm and easy scenery. How would you know that time is passing here? Well, if you would stay here for a while, you would see the man walking towards the lighthouse. The deer might be running across the field and the sun would slowly set towards the sea. You are extracting the progress of time through the movement of these objects. Today, you often think of time as the progress of a clock, a calendar or just the years passing by. And we distinguish seconds from minutes, from hours, to days, to months, to years. This rigid way of looking at times makes us believe that progress of the world passes linearly as a function of time. That makes us believe that time goes linearly in this direction, something to the right, on a straight path. For example, we often tend to believe that we age as a function of time. But this is of course not true. Time does nothing to us. Things change because of their interactions. We get older as a function of the things we do, the way we drink, eat, exercise and sleep. Well, but yes, time, the years, the months and the days are based upon the rhythmical movement of the celestial bodies. And yes, you might have a valid point arguing that the movement of these massive masses influence our lives as well. But it's not time, it's the movement of these bodies as a dispersion of energy what changes things. Movement causes interactions, interactions change the state of things, Changing things can be seen as evolution, as progress, as entropy. But there are weird and interesting consequences of this. For example, not everywhere is the same amount of movement. So this will mean a place where it's happening a lot, like a vibrant city, ages faster than the deserted desert. Which kind of means that this city lives in another time as the desert does. But this is not entirely true. Because another thing is that movement comes and goes in all directions making things interact in a certain fashion. And sometimes things are interacting in such a manner that an ecosystem evolves, where movement is relatively harmonious and circular. There might happen a lot in this system, but it then also recovers and start again in a new cycle. In our human lives, this is also very clear. We work hard during the day and sleep again at night to recover, so we could do the same thing again the next day. Without sleeping, we will get old very quickly. Life goes in these harmonious cycles. So it's more about the way things interact, how our world, and how we evolve and sustain ourselves. So you could wonder why the such a vibrant city is really aging well if the resources are not regenerated and produce a lot of waste. In sustainable systems, synchronized sy cycles are very important, and in that sense, our old concept of time is also very useful to synchronize with each other and to standardize the speed of progress. But the linear rigidity of the clock is not how the universe works, nor is it useful to take these as a fundamental basis of everything. Things don't always evolve in a linear fashion, but often adaptively synchronize towards each other to sustain a system. For example, if a guitarist of a band can't keep up with the beat of the drummer, the drummer can let the guitarist feel relentlessly. But the drummer can also change his pace and work along with the guitarist and adaptively evolve together. So to summarize, time is a construct, movement is real. Movement is non-linear non and comes from all directions, making many interactions which cause evolution. Movement can be locked into sustainable and circular systems, giving it a stable sense of progress. But altogether, the direct consequences of this different mindset might not be that big. But it might change a bit, a bit how we think about progress, evolution and how we deal with our world. So. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you think it's a useful video, please share it. You can find more of my videos on my YouTube channel, and see and read more things on my websites, such as a concept for a new clock. Oh, but for now, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time.